Yeah, yeah listen, wow. Paul Korea is like an all-time great player in Absent Sud, but uh, it's unfortunate. But like honestly, when you mention Paul Korea's name, my mind immediately goes to him knocked Scotty. out from the Scott Stevens yeah. hit, like breath fogging up on the visor. He came back and scored that. He game. did, which was awesome. It just it, I hate that it, like fucking insane. I tie so that I was uh that was the the year that you know we won, obviously, and like he uh I uh, sat on the bus. I was a rookie, so I had to double up. Uh, you know, I, uh, the rookies yeah, you had to sit. out there. Yeah, the rookies. The rookies had to double up on the bus, so we had to sit together. And the veterans all had like you know on a coach bus or whatever. You got two seats, and the veterans would have one seat. Where, but a lot of times the the older veteran guys like to sit towards the front of the bus because they don't want to be back by the card game. They don't want to be back by the you know. We talked before about. You know, uh, Billy Garrett was mentioned about we're having the cooler in the back of the bus. Um, Scotty was a very he would Scotty would put his glass like you saw so, we saw the animal of Scott yeah. Stevens on the ice. You get on the bus, he has his glasses on, he's reading a book, he's got the little light above him on, and it's like a different human being. For some reason, though, that makes it even more intimidating. It's more like. creepy, right? Yeah. yeah, yeah. It's like he's like, I don't know, and uh so he um <clears throat> I sat towards the front of the bus because I was a rookie and he sat directly across from me. And I remember after that game, so he hits um I think that was I think that was game six. Yeah, it, it was game six later yeah. in the series, yeah. yeah. It was game six, he hits Korea. Um Korea comes back, scores. We lose that game, forces game seven of the Stanley Cup Finals. So now we're we're bussing back. I think we had to spend the night that night in Anaheim. We flew out the next morning to go back to Jersey for game seven. And Scotty's next to me, and I'm like sitting there, and I'm just like, I, that was probably the biggest hit I've ever seen. I mean, he like honestly, I'm not joking. Like for the fans that haven't seen it, he he could have killed him. Like it was, yeah, it was like a great hit, but at the same time, you're like you'll feel weird because i'm like someone could have died like that's how bad it was at the time like now we know more right now we know we've been conditioned that those types of hits are, are pretty dangerous but like back then yeah. that was like oh wow that yeah was, so that was that was what you're supposed to do almost so korea's out cold the video when you look it up he's got his visor down in his face and all of a sudden he just snaps and just goes like this and like his he just comes to and then you see the his breath yep fog up his his face shield he goes to the locker room, and nowadays this would never even happen because he'd be in concussion protocol. Yeah. Goes in the locker room. Like, I thought the guy was fucking dead. And he comes back, roofs one over Marty Berdor's shoulder. Place goes bananas. Oh, even it, when he, he came out on the bench. I remember when I, he when came he out came on the back, bench, the place was on, going fucking bonkers. When he came back on the ice, the place was going nuts. Yeah. Like, <laughs> what is, what's going on right now? So, anyways, we're on the bus. <laughs> Scotty's got his book open. He's reading his book, like just another day at the office, right? Shout out to Evgeny, Evgeny Malkin. Uh, yeah, uh, so he's reading his book here, and I just lean over him and I go, "Hey, Scotty, I'm like, I'm like, you, you really got him, huh?" And he puts his book down and he leans towards me and he goes, "You know what, Rupper? He goes, I let up at the last second, and I go." And I'm like leaned over, and I'm just like, I'm like, oh, okay. And I lean back, I'm like, holy fuck. <laughs> like, like he's like, I saw at the last second that he had no idea I was there. And he goes, I didn't like follow through with, like, I didn't, I didn't like give him the extra boom. And I'm like, oh my gosh, this guy's scary. But, anyways, <laughs> the, whole, the whole point Jeez. about it is, the whole point about it is, uh, we think of Paul Korea from that, but Paul Korea was a phenomenal yeah. player, great history with the Anaheim Ducks.